State news tonight. Where does the future of electric vehicle batteries and chargers lie? It's an issue the industry is grappling with as it continues pushing now further and further into the future. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien heard from people pushing that conversation and gives us a look at what's happening. There's no doubt the Tennessee electric vehicle scene is booming. Tennessee is on its way to be the number one electric vehicle, at least manufacturing state in the country. It's a sentiment echoed by the top leaders in our state. We are really becoming the heart of the automotive industry here in Tennessee. But as it expands and more cars hit the road, one big question looms. How am I going to charge my car? Justin Huff heads up positive energy charging systems. He's referring to a feeling called range anxiety. There's still a long ways to go. Um, EVs are right now really smart for in-city or, you know, suburban areas. But getting outside of the urban or suburban areas is going to you know, that's that's what I'm trying to do is help meet those needs. Huff says the first electric car he ever bought was a Nissan Leaf. It had just 40 miles per charge, but it could charge relatively quickly. The industry is running into the problem of trying to balance distance with charging speed. Now I have a car with almost 300 miles of range, so I can do a lot more traveling without having to recharge, but it does take a lot longer to charge the battery. Up. In Tennessee, there are currently 11 charging stations with multiple ports throughout the entire state. But as battery technology progresses, the question may become, do we even need more? So some of the next stages that we're going to see is that the vehicles are going to be able to make it 500 miles, 600 miles, maybe 1,000 miles before it needs to be recharged. As EVs become more popular, their environmental impact is front of mind, even more so if the cars are made here in Tennessee. If you're buying a car from overseas, there's a lot of parts and pieces that have to be shipped all around. So although you may be only using um, you know, electricity to run the car, you used a lot of fossil fuels to transport and ship all those parts and pieces from around the world. Uh, of course, it's offset when those parts are already here. They're expanding because that industry is expanding in our state, which is expanding the job opportunities here in this county. So we're, we're excited about the future there. As the state pushes forward with electric vehicles, Huff wanted to be clear that it's not about forcing people to use EVs. And that's my parents' conversation. I'm not, you're not going to force me to drive an electric car. And it's, well, don't drive an electric car then. That's fine. Um, usually I, I put people in my car, take them for a ride, and they go, this thing's a blast. Holy crap. I want an electric car. Instead, he says it's about incentivizing them. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. I like him. Yeah, that was a... funny. Okay, he also <laughs> pointed to the fact that the popularity of electric cars really is relatively yeah. young. When you think about it, they've only been around for about 20 years. Yeah, not that long. Yeah. And as we move forward, he says the big questions will revolve around how the state produces clean energy to power cars and how battery technology will move forward.